With the loss of James Devlin, the New England Patriots have a lot to look at when it comes to the fullback position. I'm Sierra Goodwill here with Evan Lazar. We know how valued James Devlin was to the New England Patriots as a fullback, not a very uh, highly touted position or highly recognized position, I should say, amongst the league. But the Patriots really valued Devlin and what he was able to do, especially for their rushing attack. But there's two guys now on this depth chart that are going to have to fill that void, and that's Jakob Johnson and Dan Vitale. Who do you think has the most to prove? Well, I think that Jakob Johnson really is a great story. And it's similar to James Devlin's almost, you know, coming out of nowhere sort of and really blossoming into this kind of new age type thing. But I think with Vitaly, the interesting thing is, is that he was 99th percentile tester at the combine, a guy that was really, really athletic. And he brings sort of a receiving element to the position, you know, a pass catching element. He's not the as ad- effective as a blocker as Devlin. He's not that battering ram coming through the hole, you know, leading the way for the running backs. That's not necessarily his game. He's more finesse than that. So I'm really interested to see just looking at sort of how they've kind of went about this. The Vitali signing, Dalton Keene draft pick, even though he's technically a tight end. Those picks kind of signal to me that maybe they're thinking of their backfield players as a little bit more as all-around weapons than just being kind of that battering battering ram type like James Devlin was, as effective as that was and as useful as that was in their offense. Maybe they're going in a little bit of a different direction with the fullback position where they want him to be an X-factor in the passing game. So I'm very curious to see if that's the direction that they're going in or do they just felt like they liked Vitaly a little bit and they just wanted to bring him in. Well, in Devlin's conference call with reporters after he announced his retirement, he had glowing remarks about Jakob Johnson and said the kid has a really bright future. Do you think that he's going to be taking the majority of the snaps at that position this season? Right. Well, the interesting thing is, is like I was just saying, you know, are are they looking for that traditional fullback? Are they looking to just replicate James Devlin or are they going to kind of go about it in a completely different way? If they're going to replicate James Devlin, then Jakob Johnson's the leader in the clubhouse right now to take the lion's share of those snaps. Now that Devlin is retired. And I think the one thing that we saw with Johnson is that he was a very fast learner, a guy that really picked up the offense quickly, understood his roles and responsibilities quickly. And also he is that bigger, stouter kind of battering ram type body type and he certainly did that at times and once he got an opportunity to get on the field he really did have some huge key blocks that Bill Belichick Josh McDaniels a lot of guys talked about in those couple of games that he was able to play in where he really did carve the way for the running backs in a more old school type of fullback way so I would go Jakob Johnson just because that's what history has told us that they like out of that position but I'm really I'm very curious to see if they go with the athletes so they go with Keen and Vitale and just try to air it out a little bit more with the fullback and use him as sort of a decoy or as a weapon in the passing game. For all of our roster reset videos, check them out on our website at clnsmedia.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Patriots Press Pass.